Welcome to the Julia programming language tutorial. Let's go ahead and see some facts about Julia. First thing is it's open source and free so that there is no restriction on the licensing part or something that you need to pay. It's similar to Python or R which you can just download and install and start using it. Second thing is it's developed in MIT in the applied computing group by Jeff Bezenson. Stephen Krupansky and Viral Shah. Its development started in 2009 and completed in 2012. So it's relatively new language. Then its popularity is increasing in technical data science and high performing computing area. High level flexible programming language that means you don't really have to worry about the low level task. Uh, so it does all its maintenance and everything and you are focusing about the problem in hand. And then it's easy to learn and fast to execute. And finally, faster than current programming languages like R, Python or MATLAB. Why? Because in the back end, it basically does the compiling like the C or C++ compiler which basically converts the code into a machine code and runs pretty fast and that that also means that you can accept the inputs or the, you can run it on any system then. So let's go ahead and see how we can download it. So installing Julia. So for that let me come out of the presentation mode and come over here on the Julia website. So Julia website is as you can see, Julia L A N G Julia Lang dot O R G is its website, and this is how the page is looking like today. So today is twenty seventh September two thousand nineteen, and that's how the page is looking like today. And over here, in a nutshell, even they have said the same thing that Julia is fast, it's dynamic, optionally typed, open source, easy to use, and general purpose programming language. Ecosystem basically talks about its applicability, visualization, it's a general public, uh, purpose that means you can develop the applications in it like games and all. Then you can do the data science work for prediction, you can apply the machine learning lab algorithm for scientific domains you can work and the parallel computing as well which is a high level computing task for a very time consuming time problems. Down there it's a Julia conference video. And then it's some information about the packages, blogs and how you can contact them. And very important information about the integrated development environments or the editors in which you can write the Julia code. So you have a lot of editors that is available. Uh, but we will going to use the Jupyter that if you are following my blog, I have been using the Jupyter and it is basically available from the Anaconda website or the anaconda distribution so for that what you can do is just go there and say anaconda python and this is where anaconda python will come and you can download the anaconda publicly available distribution library and have the jupyter uh, integrated development environment over there so down there you have the option for python 3.7 2.7 I'm using the Python 3.7 so I suggest and recommend that if you are replicating my work then go ahead and download the Python 3.7 and install it. Installation is very similar to any other installation installer like for example if you are in Windows it's a simple next 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 or if it is in a Mac you just have to drag and drop into the applications folder. Alright so coming back over here. There are other lot of different resources like a documentation, blog, community, learning, research and JSOC but we will see it later or you, as per your convenience you can just go ahead and explore that. So what we will going to do is um, we'll just click on the download version 1.2 and over here I have the option I have already downloaded 64 bit because my system is 64 bit. If your Windows system is 32 bit then you need to download the 32 bit uh, installer. Along with that the options are available for Macs and Linux and uh, I have downloaded the current stable release which is 1.2 and I suggest that you also go ahead and download this and we should be good to go. So since I have already installed it if I open up my start over here so I have it Julia over here and if I click it 
that's how the julia looks like so that's about uh, in this topic where you can download how you can download and then install it and this is how your interface looks like now let's meet in the next topic